what's happening out there today guys a to z home inspections on another one here in the east valley we got a pretty good little list going on a um, couple concerns that they're gonna have to address is an open door home so hopefully they can get uh get some things fixed all right let's check it out we're gonna start on the east side of the home simple stuff like vacuum breakers Missing vacuum breakers, we talked about that. Keeps the hose water from going into the potable water. This one's leaking like crazy, just got wet, dandy. All over the camera, that's nice. A irrigation system from before I was born. What is that? Sounds like a helicopter. Oh yeah. Lots of action going on lately. Let's go, Brandon. All right. Irrigation conduit needs to be secured to the wall. You can just see it's flapping around. That's never good. Right up here, we got an open electrical junction box. I don't know if they had a camera here maybe at one point. That's probably what I'm guessing but whether or not that should be at least closed up to keep the elements out. All right, front of the house looks pretty good. Um, looks like we have a little bit of, little bit of termite action there. Yep, crunching, crunching away, breakfast time. So we are on the corner on the west side. This is the danger side. Just kidding. All right, so we got our GFCI. It is tripped and not resetting. More than likely, it's the bad GFCI. All right, we're heading to the gate. Looks a little sloppy, seen better days. Where is the latch? There it is. But haven't we all seen better days? I probably look a little sloppy today too. So she's just loose, hinges are old and worn out bent simple things though you know um and i'm not gonna go up on the roof because i already put my ladder away but we can kind of we got a nice little pool back here need some loving we got our pool guy coming out shingle so there's the roof there's a couple missing roof tiles that blew off um, the south side here is pretty worn right over in this area here there used to be a satellite dish that they left the, the hole through the roof and also right up there can barely see it is a plumbing vent pipe that is actually the the flashing is actually leaking and causing a stain in the main bedroom closet which I can show you when we head in um, but yeah I put a short up on that crawled through the vault from there all the way to there to catch that leak and see it get a good picture of it so yeah I put a short up just a little while ago on that one you know common stuff like this whatever notated but Oh, I think I locked the door, actually. I locked myself out. Oh, let's do this, too. And in that vent pipe that's leaking, looks like they used to have a water softener here. That's why it's looping up and around. Like, they just tied it together, so it's just looping now, but a softener can go here. This was the drain pipe for it that goes up into the attic and is tied into a vent pipe up there which is a no-no because technically gas fumes can come from that vent pipe in the inside of the house drop down here go into your softener and make your water taste like shit it's just not safe it can contaminate it so it's never a good idea to tap it right into a vent stack it really should have an air gap 
you know, like a one inch air gap on the drain side of your softener. All right, so we are in the inside. Let's close this door. I'm gonna set this down, change my shoes. Actually just got complimented about that from the, the uh, future owner's dad. I was like, hey, you take your shoes off? That's pretty awesome. We appreciate that. So that's cool, it's always good to hear. Um, everything in here is pretty clean, except for we got a open ground here on this outlet. Where's my tester? Oh, oh man, I thought I, I thought I dropped it in that attic. I'd be buying a new tester because I'm not shooting me all the way over there again. So we got an open ground right there, so we'll have to address that. It could just be a worn out outlet too sometimes and they get really sloppy. It doesn't connect good on the prongs. Um, faucet here is a little loose. You know, it's kind of wobbling around. That needs to be tight. And disposal sounds like it has. I'm not even going to turn it on. Sounds like somebody is grinding up bones in there. So that's not good. Um, oh, yeah. Dishwasher hose. We've went on over this before dishwasher hose hanging here it's now it's creating a trap water food you know think of what you put in your dishwasher that's all going to get trapped in here now and just get plugged up it needs to be pulled up so the drain slopes towards the disposal inlet so that stuff can drain out just like all your other pipes that slope towards where you want it to go same thing it should do that too easy fix though all right main bath only thing here you guys can't really feel the temperature but the handle here is actually the cartridge is in backwards so what says cold here is actually hot what says hot is actually cold so that needs to be flipped around flippity flippity all right we got the stain in here it's gonna be really hard to see. It was pretty faint, but we caught it. So it's right there. You can see some bubbling. See when my flashlight comes across it. And then right above it, there you can kind of see the coloring. It's just staining. So that's where that's coming from, following that vent pipe down. And staining there. And I guarantee it's the vent pipe for the toilet and the lab going up through the roof. So that's what we got going on there. Let's see, what else we get at? Um, oh yeah, over here, the garage door should self-close. So when you open it, it should close by itself. There is a spring mechanism here. It's just worn out because of gas fumes, whatnot. You're parking your cars in there. You know, if you if you like toys, dirt bikes, or anything two-stroke, you don't, you know you'll know that that smell gets in the house real quick. So we round the corner into the master bedroom, master bath. Very minor little leak under the sink. You can see a couple water droplets there. Um, you know, so definitely some minor fixes here. Definitely that leak. You know, up at the ceiling and the roof up there with the roof jack. Let's scoot back around. Oh yeah, and the last but not least, Watahita. Just light work, I can't remember. Let's just open the door. Water heater. No disaster pan, which isn't as crucial out here just because you are so close for the water to run out and go out your garage door. But, you know, it still could soak into these baseboards and whatnot, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to add a pan to shoot the drain off this lip so it can drain out the, the garage. 
you don't want that going into all your baseboards and that is a common wall with the interior of your house. Don't want that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really about it, guys. So another one bites the dust. It is Thursday. I got one more inspection to do. And then I get a couple days off. It has been crazy busy. And we're packing and all that good stuff. So I need some time to get some stuff done. Um, and we're making the, the uh, transition to RV life full time. So we're scared, we're nervous, we're excited but it's gonna be quite the journey. If you wanna see any of that, it's Destination Desert. And uh, we got another YouTube channel over there. So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, you know, share this around. Let me know if there's anything you wanna see, anything, uh, yeah, you probably want me to walk around on roofs, which I'll do sometime, but I always put my ladder away. So I don't know, I'm always ahead of the game on that. But, uh, God bless, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Adios.